Shalom. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international video or videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your time and your presence. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Apostles Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again. What is it? The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, uh, the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. This video is, might be a tough video for some people. What is that? I think it's like a piece of hair. I have to do my hair. Yeah, for me doing my hair. Okay. Guys, what happens when you leave a relationship and you go back? Like, what, ha what is the real experience? Like, just be honest with yourself. What happens when you go back? So today's video is be careful. Don't let the devil try to get you stuck in the past and God moving forward. Okay? So Philippians 3... All for Christ is the title. Or is the scripture? At? Philippians 3, verse 12 through 14. Oh, sorry. That's not the title. It's called Pressing Toward the Goal. Pressing Toward the Goal. Pressing Toward the Goal. Not that I have already attained or am already perfect or perfected. But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid for me. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected. But I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid for me. The Holy Spirit said one more time. Pressing toward the goal. Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on, thank you, Holy Spirit, that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. The Lord is having me release this video. Anytime the Lord releases you from a relationship, he is not telling you to go back. I, I, I could tell you the most two recent times through my experience what happened every time I went back. The first time was with the ghosted person. I went back because I ain't, ain't going to fool me four or five times like I'm, like I'm 16 no more. <laughs> but I did go back. And what happened? The, but the first time he cheated. The second time, he still got caught cheating. But he got he went ghosted. Well, no, he didn't get caught cheating. But he still, he left. He, got, he ghosted me. Okay. And then this past one, what happened when I went back? Actions were not louder than words. And what did this person do? They changed their mind and married somebody else. Do not go back. That's my lesson. I don't care. You could just show by kataba. You paint me blue in the face. I am not coming back to LA. I, you could skip, miss me with all of that. Look at what keep happening. You, you just claim somebody else as your wife. Why are you call That's infidelity, says the Lord. You, you cheating on your wife spiritually. I'm not coming back.
the Lord says, pressing toward the goal. Okay? Go forward. Don't go back. Don't go back. You're going to get hurt. What happened now? God bless her. Bless her. God bless her. What happened to Miss Mary J. Blige? She went back in 15, 14 years later. It's a divorce from cheating. Don't go back, man. It's too much. Don't go back. And then, no, hell no. Don't go back. I went back twice. The first time I went back to this last relationship, this man never stuck up for me and said, that's not my wife. Don't disrespect. This man still was calling me his girlfriend. And then what happened? I stayed there and stayed. And then what happened? This man married somebody else. Don't go back. They could call on you till they blew in the face. Don't go. I'm going to say F that. Don't go back. That be our fault. We think God telling us to go back to somebody that's, that's just speaking to us good words. What stuff we want to hear. Don't go back. 